All right. Uh, the hill. What do they say about the hill? One of the... Well, chat is right in the way. You know what? We're gonna do it like this. Aha! There we go. Now I, now you guys can see this. So what do they have? Whoa. Come down. You are? Right? You are? Right? Okay, questionable. Right, starting off the hill. What do they say about the hill? One of the draft designs for a destroyer flotilla leader, production of which started at the end of World War I, was armed with five main battery guns. This looks suspiciously like a Nicholas. This looks extremely suspiciously like a Nicholas. Uh, what's the health like? 12.1. 527 millimeter guns with four second reload. Yeah, this looks very much, very much like a Nicholas. Three, oh, what are Torps. Yeah, that's, that doesn't seem that special. 5.5 km Torp range. AA is, range is okay, but flak is non-existent. Maneuverability, fast handling, concealment. Not really that stealthy. Yeah, this looks like a Nicholas. Maybe even a down, like, this concealment seems pretty sketchy. Wait, what kind of concealment do you end up with? Hold on. What kind of concealment do you end up with? Oh, normally you go last stand before you go AR, but you know what, whatever, I can't play them anyway, so. Conceal 6.4 with concealment expert. Eh, uh, eh, uh, 14k health, sure, but I mean, okay, realistically, chat, who wants to play not just a tier 5 premium, but a tier 5 Nicholas premium, and more importantly, a tier 5 destroyer premium in the current meta? Who the hell wants to do that? Who wants who wants that experience? With no AA? I I I I hope they're giving it away as part of some campaign or something cuz I cannot see anyone anyone wanting to buy this thing. Like holy crap. Why why would you want this thing? Why on earth would you want this thing? Dealing with double carriers every game, pretty much, and most likely dealing with tier 6 carriers and being up tiered. Not being able to stealth torp, relying on basically your gun power, which is Nicholas gun power, which means massive arcs. Yeah. Yeah, Ohotnik is fun. Ohotnik is very different from uh, Nicholas. Yeah. Can you move chat? Where do we move chat? We can move chat here. Oh, fuck. Chat, 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 chat. Where do we move chat? Chat? Chat is in the way no matter where I put it. Whatever. Chat can sit there. We can make chat even smaller. There we go. Now chat is even smaller. Now chat is even smaller. Take away face cam. I can disable face cam as well. Give, give us some more room to work with. There we go. Move away face cam. Move this up here. There you go, now you got some space. Alright. He doesn't love any ever chat anymore. True, true. Let's see. Next up we have Summers. First of all, it's what what can be slot on the Summers? Standard damage con? Mm. Wait, that's yes. Wait, no, that's a DD. It's a DD though, yeah, okay, makes sense. DD smoke, standard US smoke, standard American speed boost. Really nothing special here. Upgrade wise, once again, nothing really special. We can just slot the concealment because it'll give us an idea of, of what stealth we're dealing with. Uh, so what do they have? Oh, wait, what is this? First of all, health 17.3, that's not bad. Let's, let's put a basic captain on it. Put a basic captain. First of all, 20.8. That's not a lot for a tier 10 destroyer. But what's obviously interesting here is 2x, 2 turrets in the front, 
and two turrets in the back. The likes of Gearing and Yu Yang, of course, they only have one turret in the back. So this is some serious firepower. What's the reload? Five seconds. BFT would be 5.5. .5. Better reload mod could cut it down even further. Mm. It looks like standard American HE. Looks like standard American HE, but the Dukkha potential might be quite huge. Torps 3x4, 16.5. Hold up. Are they all central? They're all central. They're all in the middle of the ship, meaning you can launch... What? You can launch a 12 torpedo spread. You can launch a 12 torpedo spread. Unlike uh, gearing that launches a 10 torpedo spread. 1.4 km. This is, this is standard gearing torpedoes. 1.4 km detection, 16.5, 66 knots. This is standard 16 km gearing torpedoes. So, big firepower, big torpedo power. That's that. That looks very strong. That looks very strong for like. Reload is 108. Once again, build you can cut that down to. With full build, I think reload mod and everything you cut it, you can cut it down to like under 90 seconds. That's some. That's some pretty terrifying torpedo power. What's the AA like? Only short range. Wow, they're not, they're not dual purpose. The guns are not dual purpose. That's it. Why are they not dual purpose? Aren't they dual purpose on the gearing? But on the Sommers, they're not dual purpose. So you literally have no AA at all. Literally no AA at all. You're going to be a goddamn target. That's what you're going to be. Because it's an old design, different turns. When was this ship built? I forgot to read the intro. 1937, a destroyer flotilla leader equipped with eight guns that had the largest numbers of torpedoes per salvo among all the ships of the US Navy. So literally American Shimakaze boys. Worse AA than the hill? Is it actually worse AA than the hill? Let me see. Yeah, this this thing actually 56 and but it has a long range dakka. <laughs> it's actually actually worse AA than the hill. Wow. That's interesting. Speed, 38 points. Wow, that's really fast. Hold up, 38.6 is really fast, isn't it? For an American? Because we can slap flag on it. And we're doing 40.5. And then we can slap... Uh, then, didn't this thing have a speed boost as well? It did. The ship is very fast. For an American DD, very fast. Good air detectability, good sea detectability. Very fast for an American DD. And big both torpedo and big firepower. Holy shit. I mean, I, I assume... They, obviously they can fiddle with the numbers, but this is just first impressions. And first impressions on this thing is... Very powerful. Very powerful. Only weakness is carriers, but... I mean, that that's a, that's a weakness for all DDs. Unlike the Kleber and Mogador, this thing at least has smoke. American long duration smoke as well. Huh. Seems dangerous. Straight up seems dangerous. But I mean, they can easily fiddle with numbers here. Uh, you got They can just mess with torpedo reload. They can mess with gun reload and so forth. It's those are easy values to to adjust if it's overperforming. Hmm. Let's see. Small Lensk. What does the value say? Developed after World War II, project of a small light cruiser MLK 16X130, equipped with 16 dual purpose guns in four turret mounts intended to counter enemy light ships. Year of design 1950. Ah, da, comrade. We use time machine, comrade. Okay. Let's see. What do we have here? Cruiser damage con. Boat, you can switch between defensive AA or hydro. Smoke as well. Only two of them with premium, so superintendent is probably pretty much must have on this thing. Smoke though, that's pretty nasty. 20 second 89. Looks like standard, standard Soviet smoke. Um, with superintendent and heal because, well, it's a cruiser, so not exactly surprising. Heal looks very standard. Yeah, there's nothing special about this heal. This is a very standard heal. 
Uh, let's slap basic upgrades on it like concealment. Actually, let's put the AA thing because if let's see what kind of AA we get with this thing. Because I think if these guns are dual purpose, so I would assume the guns are going to be very spicy. Let's let this build. Basic build, I mean, I assume you probably want to go IFHC on this thing later on, but let's do what I, uh, the basic cruiser build here. Flintgrad. <laughs> Someone call it the Flintingrad. <laughs> Atlantis Grad. Let's see, hit points 32.4. Actually, I forgot to check the armor on the Summers. Let's see, is there anything special about the armor? No, it's standard gearing armor. More importantly, what is Smolensk armor, though? Oof, 13 millimeter? This gets overmatched by 203 millimeter guns, boys. 203 millimeter AP overmatches this. So this thing is stupidly squishy. The center part gets overmatched by Republic, Yamato, and Musashi, as it's 30 millimeters. Only 70 millimeters of Citadel belt. This is their layered armor. No, it's straight... Wow, that's insanely thin. DDs will citadel this thing. Kaba, Grozovoy, even close-range gearing will probably have no issues citadeling this thing. Even light cruisers will citadel this thing quite easily. Massively squishy armor. Massively squishy armor. So, Urmatch, bow and, bow and Stern, and very thinly armored. Well, I mean, it does have a smoke, and I assume the concealment will be god tier because of all of these weaknesses. Hit points 32.4. That's the lowest of a tier 10 cruiser so far. That is by far the lowest. Before this, the lowest was. Zhao? Is the Zhao the lowest? Mm, I, th I think so. They have, around 40k has always been less. But yeah, someone said Mayoka has more health. Yeah, a lot of ships have more health. Mina? What is, what is Minotaur's health? Isn't it around 40k ish as well? Mino has more health than Zhao, I think. Regardless, Zhao is 40k, and I think that's the lowest you can get. Yeah, Mino, is, Mino has more health. Anyway, main battery guns. Here is, of course, the big, the big juicy thing about this ship. These turrets look... Well, they certainly look special. Four guns per turret. That's a lot of Dakka. That is a lot of Dakka. Now let's see, main battery, now Wooster has 45k chat, Zhao is the lowest HP tier 10 cruiser. Reload 4.5 seconds, 180 degree turn time, 6 seconds! I actually want to see that! Because these things, 6 seconds, bzoop, bzoop, that's gonna be a fast turret reverse, holy shit. 4.5 second reload though, that is a lot of Dakka, 8% fire chance. 15.6 km range, but of course, as they're 130, they will benefit from AFT and BFT. So you, you can go full gunboat build with massive range on this thing, if you should so choose. 21 millimeter pen. So if we slap, what do we get if we slap IFHE on it? We get, like what? We, we can pen 27? We can pen 27 millimeter. I think we get around 28 mill pen okay we can we can we get past the 27 millimeter threshold with these with ifhe on this thing shell velocity 950 meters per second which is obviously very familiar to those who have played russian destroyers because that's the same shell velocity the, the grosovoy has in fact these look basically like grosovoy guns uh people are saying flat arcs that's horseshit because uh these are very light guns the thing is, in, in, the initial shell velocity will make the shells flat at short ranges, but of course, because the shells are so light, the air drag will be massive, unless, of course, we the, this thing gets the Stalingrad Pobeda treatment, where suddenly the shells have no air drag at all. That, of course, remains to be seen, but normally light shells have a lot of air drag. Normally, light shells have a lot of air drag. Octavian Pops, thank you for the 20 months, and they, they, they bleed speed in the air quite a bit. That remains to be seen. Torpedo tubes, 2x5, 8km range. These are YOLO slash self-defense torpedoes. Only 8km range, 60 knots. 
really long reload as well. Yeah, these are more of a YOLO, oh shit, kind of torpedoes. I guess it's one, one set per side. Yeah, one set per side. AA. This is, of course, where it gets very, very interesting. Short range, 211. That is not very impressive. Mid range, 9 puffs. This is with the module. Remember that I installed the AA module. 9 puffs, 1.1k, 325, 2.3. And what's the long range? 10 flak puffs with the module, 1.9k per explosion, 327 continues, 3.5 to 6km, and of course you can slot defensive AA as well, with a 90% hit probability. I assume the small ones can throw up pretty disgusting flak clouds. I assume that's that's supposed to be the thing, that the flak cloud it can throw, throw up is gonna be nasty. How effective it will be remains to be seen, because normally in World of Warships, long-range AA is pretty goddamn useless, because the flak is so easy to dodge, but remains to be seen. Also, having super flat arcs on a super light cruiser like uh, this isn't necessarily a good thing. Like, chat automatically assumes it's a good thing, but one of the things that makes, for example, the Wooster so strong is that you can park behind islands and you can lob shells over because the shells are so slow and the Wooster is so good at it. You try to do the same thing in a, in a small ask and you will probably be hitting the island instead of the ships behind the island. So, this is a bit of a double-edged uh, sword, this super fast shell velocity. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's why this thing has smoke, because you're going to need to use smoke. With Superintendent and the Premium Consumable, you get a total of three smokes that last one and a half minute. So, questionable. Questionable. Maximum speed, 35 knots. That's okay -ish. Good handling, though. 750 meter turning circle with a fast rudder shift. We can, of course, buff that rudder shift even further to a pretty spicy... 6.6 .6, almost destroyer rudder shift on this thing so very agile acceleration as such remains to be seen of course detectability 10 kilometers really that's with full stealth build that's actually pretty bad that's actually pretty damn bad surprisingly bad considering it's the squishiest of all tier 10 cruisers in terms of health and armor it's painfully squishy Zhao can sneak up on this thing Zao can ambush this thing, and then you gotta remember that the Zao can also overmatch the nose armor on this thing. And this literally has no armor, and the citadel extends above the waterline. <laughs> Zao can absolutely dumpster this thing. Oof. Questionable. Very questionable. The air detectability is the big thing, though. Air detectability is 4.6, which, if we remember correctly, it had a 6km AA range. So that means if you turn your AA off and you sneak up on planes, or planes try to strike something near you, and then you activate AA and you pop defensive AA at the same time, those planes are going to be caught about at 4km range. Because by the time they react and you open up, they're going to be like 4.3km away. And they're going to have to be running for their lives after that. So... Straight up, the biggest strength this ship seems to have is the potential AA power and ambushing power. Good smoke firing. Well, pretty okay. 5.9. That's pretty good. Not quite as good as what the Minotaur has, but still pretty good. Worth noticing, noting, though, is of course that this thing does not have any radar. You can't even slot a radar on this thing. So this is not going to become another radar ship. This is one of the few light cruisers that will completely lack that. Interesting. H-E Minotaur kind of thing with strong AA and... Hmm. Questionable. Questionable. Interesting ship, but certainly questionable. It seems extremely vulnerable. We'll see. We'll see how it works. We'll see what kind of damage. The fire, fire starting potential might be quite disgusting though. If you build demo, demo expert and you put fire flags on, you boost the fire chance to 11%. 16 guns, raining shells with full full reload build, raining shells every 4 seconds on you. Uh, 16 shells every 4 seconds with 11% fire chance. Yeah, you're gonna be burning. <laughs> you're absolutely gonna be burning. Make no mistake about that. So, remains to be seen, but potential huge fire starting on this thing. Right, and finally, of course, finally, of course, we have the Colbert. 
what does it say about this one? Designed and built after World War II, AA cruiser of a, of a relatively small size equipped with a powerful dual purpose 127 millimeter artillery. So this is the French tier 10 Atlanta 1959 entered service. What the shit? That is a late service enter. We, we made fun of uh, Smolensk being what? 1950? This thing is 1959, nine years later. What the hell? All right, let's take a look. Let's take, let's take a look at this thing. Let's, oops, close, oop, close, close, close. That's a lot of guns. First of all, that's a thick boy. First of all, that is a thick boy. Holy shit, that is a thick boy. Good Lord. Someone's been eating his baguettes. Oh my god, that's a thick boy. S sits very high in the... W like, this is a lot of target to shoot. From every angle, it feels like. This is a lot of stuff to shoot. Worth noting is, of course, all these dual, uh, dual guns. That is a lot. That is a lot of guns. That is a lot of guns. I assume this can shoot like this, so you got, what, six of these per side? What's the health pool? 36k health. Okay, well, let's start by checking out the... What can we slot on this thing? Normal damage gun. AA or Hydro. We get speed boost and it's French speed boost. Oh, are we going to get a super fast Atlanta? Are we going to get a super fast Atlanta? Now that could be a meme worth your ship to play. Holy, that, that could be fun. Let's see. And... Looks like a classic heal. Very standard heal, once again. Uh, upgrade wise, let's go set the AA flag path thing again. And concealment, because these affect the values we can see. And of course, we can slot. Well, let's, let's see, what is the maneuverability? Oh yeah, I think you actually want to slot steering gears. On the small ends, you might actually want to go acceleration instead of rudder shift. Just because you, you sit in smoke and you, you, you might be forced to move because of torts or radar and such. But on this thing, because it doesn't have any smoke, you probably always go rudder shift. 7.4. Not that fast. Well, actually, can someone do some quick math and tell us what 20% to 34.6 is? Someone can do some quick math and we can figure that one out. I mean, it should be about 40-ish, a bit more than 40, 41, 41, for a cruiser, that's pretty fast. It's going to be jarring though, the difference between speed boost Colbert and no speed boost Colbert. 41.52 is the exact number, so 41.5 is what we will be doing. Okay, let's build basic captain build. We want the heal speed boost. Most likely, superintendent is a. Once again, I considering well. Actually, we should look at the guns. Main battery, twenty millimeter pen. Hmm. IFHE on that is you. You get twenty six. AKA you can pen twenty five millimeter. Might be useful ish. It might be useful, yeah. You'd, you'd probably build IFHE on it just for it, but you, you're still not going to be penning much with these guns. 8x2 guns, 27 effective pen. Really? Does it get that high? How does it get 27 effective pen? Oh yeah, it does get 27. Interesting. Thirty percent increase of twenty is six, though. But I guess it gets rounded up because you know, World of Warships math is a bit special. Whatever. Anyway, let's slot this something. 
I guess I guess the actual pen isn't 20. The actual pen is 20 point something, and they, they don't show us the decimals. So when we add IFHE on top, it, it uh -huh. does include the decimals. That's why the numbers are misleading. Anyway, uh, where were we? Oh, yeah. So basic build with concealment expert. So, of course, hit points is questionable. What is the armor like? What is the armor? Show us the armor. Another super light cruiser. Another super light cruiser. Plummo, play them already for fuck's sake. I have to go soon. You see where it says teaser in the title and not playing? That means I can't play them. So, unlucky for you, buddy. 30 millimeter armor, which means overmatched by 203 millimeter guns. 30, 30, 50. Okay, so you, get, you can do a bit of bouncing, but the rest, if, the rest is incredibly squishy. And, well, most BBs will blot the hell out of this thing. Especially Republic Yamato Musashi will, of course, overmatch this part as well. 80 millimeter. 10 more, more than the smallest, but still, I mean, DDs will have... If, what, look how hot... Wow. That's a lot of Citadel. That is a lot of Citadel with very little armor to protect it. So this thing is going to be brutally squishy as well. This thing is going to be brutally squishy as well with a whole lot of Citadel to hit. Okay then. I don't even want to know what kind of HE damage this thing will eat considering it has literally... It's going to eat full HE pen from everywhere and it's gigantic in size. So something like a Haraguma can probably beat this in a 1 versus 1. <laughs> I mean, it depends on what's the reload on these guns. Three seconds! Okay, that's pretty disgusting. BFT will cut it down to 2.7. Reload module, oh my, 2.4-ish. Less than 2.4. Yikes, that's a lot of duck gun. That's a lot of duck gun. So this thing can pour on fire. 9% fire chance as well. Add in flags, add in demo expert, 12% fire chance. So this thing is also going to be starting fires, but this thing will also, just like the smallest, be lacking in penetration quite a bit. Hmm. AA. Now this is, of course, interesting. Mid-range. 13 flag puffs. 800 continuous DPS. Holy shit, that's a lot of mid-range AA. Holy shit, that's a lot of mid-range AA. You add in manual AA, you add in defensive AA. Holy shit, this thing will do a lot. This thing will do a lot of mid-range DPM. Actually useful anti-air. What's the long range like? Eight flag puffs, six km range. Once again, what is the concealment? Can you see? 4.9 so this thing just like the small ends, this thing can sneak up on planes this thing has slightly better concealment as well but this thing will be able to sneak up on planes with some massive aa potential long range is decent but this mid-range this mid-range is the brutal that's so much continuous dps actually powerful actually powerful maneuverability we already said 41.5 with the speed boost, very agile, no, nice turning circle, quite agile, quite stealthy. Huh, damn. I think the, both of these have potential to be a lot of fun to play. The question is how useful will they be? Both of them seem like, both of them seem like if they get caught, if someone shoots them, they just explode. They straight up just explode, they have no armor. They have no armor, they have no health, they don't have some super heal like the Minotaur. Quite quite easy to kill, but at least a real real carrier destroyer. Provided you can catch it. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I can't wait to be screwed by map RNG with these ships. Yeah, I, I think big open maps are going to be a massive pain in these things. Just a massive pain. I presume steel ships? We know we know nothing about the pricing of these ships. We know absolutely nothing. Unless Wargaming has released something juicy, we know absolutely nothing about the pricing of these ships. Hmm. But I... Someone mentioned Ocean, but honestly, Ocean is such a rare map. That is such a rare map. Oh well, 
Oh, well, I guess we can get rid of the VIP. That is the, the four new ships, the four ships teasers.